Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today we're going to make the tutorial of this mini album that I made using cardstock and digital images. This is the one that I showed you before and as you can see it's small and it has a very nice um, print and those are the digital images made by Anna Torres. She is Lace Boutique One. Right here you can see better the paper see and the pages were like this you um have a tag right here then you open this way then you open up open right here and then in the other side you have another pocket see and this one is one eight and a half by eleven Okay, so you print on eight and a half by eleven, and each each one of these um pages is just one paper. So in the next page, you will open right here, and you have room right here for pictures. Then two pockets, and for the tags, I made it double so you can have more room for pictures. See. So then you turn the page and you have more room for pictures and then in the back too. So all of this is another eight and a half by 11, okay? Then the third part is right here, one pocket, another right here for another tag. Then you turn, you have two more pages. Then you turn and then here you have a flap that goes down, see? So there is more room for pictures. And then in the last one, there are um, two pockets, one right here and one right here. See? Then you turn the page, you have two um, rooms right here for pictures. And the last one is um, two pockets, see? One for a small tag and one for a big tag. And I made them double all of the tags are double okay so you can have a lot of space for pictures and then i made two um extras right here pockets and this pocket goes up and this one down see and you have here more room for pictures see then you close and this one has magnet here. And at the end, okay, it goes like this. You open, okay, and here is one flap. And then you open and you have waterfall mats, okay? See? If you like this design, I'm gonna show you how to make them. Now, what you will need for this one is cardstock. And I'm using this one. I like this one because it's uh, 110 pounds. And this cardstock, I buy it at Walmart and it's under $5, okay? And it comes 150 sheets. Okay. You will also need some chipboard and these are for the cover. So I'm using two pieces of six by four and three quarters, okay? And one that is two and a half by four and three quarters, okay, for the spine. And you will need some adhesives like double-sided tape and or tacky glue. Okay? You will also need some scraps of cardstock. I usually have strips of one inch and I save them because I know that I always need them for um, gussets. So. I'm going to use all of these are one inch and they are scored at half of an inch, okay? For the mini album that I'm going to make, I print these um, digital images. Uh, this is from Anna too. And I print them at fast draft. Fast draft is like about um, 200 um, DPI, 200 dots per inch. So um, the color is going to be very, very soft. And now I'm going to show you the images. I printed back to back in each cardstock. Okay, as you can see, so beautiful images, right? Very, very shabby. I love this design. 
and when you print back to back you have to put in the settings of your printer borderless so you don't have any um, space right here okay so you you uh, printer print everything see and then I printed this other one this is um this design is letters to Dolores okay so, so beautiful with flowers, letters, so cute, right? So I had to print, oh look at this, it has a splatters of gesso drawing there and see I use the same design in both sides you can use the same design in all of the pages if you want and the best thing of um, printing your own paper is that um, when you um, buy the files you can keep in your computer and you can put it on any time and as many times as you want okay so there is, there is no way that um, you go to the store and you can find the same paper and these and designs are so so beautiful anna is always updating with new designs you will love it okay the link of her etsy store is going to be in the description box now for the cover i'm using um these two okay this is for the outside and this one for the inside and i just printed one side okay because I'm going to glue this one, so you just need to print one side. And they have um, a lot of more of these uh, papers that um, it has like ephemera. And I printed this one just to see the size and it was too big for this mini. You can use it as a page if you want, but then I printed it smaller. And this is the good thing of digital images that you can print um, any size you can resize them in your computer and you can print it smaller or bigger see this is the same but i printed this one at half of the size and i made two sets when i printed like um in half of the page see and they are smaller now for the pages i'm using four papers and they are double-sided okay you print them at double-sided and one extra for the part right here okay and this one so you are going to need one more and it has to be double-sided too okay so those are the only papers that you have to print and now let's start now for the cover we will need two pieces of cardstock and i cut these two at nine by six and a half and you are going to glue at half of an inch right here okay in the long side you're going to glue half of an inch then you're going to glue this one in the center right here okay that's fine and this one the other two covers you're going to glue on the sides but you have to leave one quarter of an inch right here when you are done gluing that part, you're going to use a bone folder and then um, make creases right here on the edge, okay? And then you're going to fold to the inside, okay? I'll be right back to show you how it's done the first part. And here is how it looks. Now I'm going to glue these two papers on top of this part right here. And I was going to show you that you have to... Um, do this crease right here on the paper before you glue okay so it, it doesn't rip when you are gluing and then you um, press it okay so the way that you have to do this is uh, put the paper on top okay i cut this one like about uh, one eighth of an inch less on the side and right here is just eight inches okay the, the length so I put the paper where it's going to be and then you grab something that is about one quarter of an inch thick. It can be this um, tool or maybe the, the handle of your scissors. Okay, so you have to 
just um, see where your um, crease is there and then you have to press okay when it's done see it has the shape right then with the small one you can just refine the crease so this one is going to be uh, glue right here okay on this side so your paper doesn't rip um, when you do it after okay it will be very very nice finish and now my cover is done and this is how it looks see here is the um, indent part see that we make and you have to be careful with this one you have to crease before you glue the paper and it looks very very neat see now for this part up here you don't have to do the same thing you just glue straight okay you just glue straight and it will look at this but then when you fold you just need to have those creases inside see and for the hinges we're going to use these two pieces these are four and one quarter and this is two and a half okay and you have to score at half of an inch okay in each um half of an inch and this one is one and a half so you have to score at half of an inch and then again a half of an inch okay so these are the measurements and now what what we'll do is to um fold the first and last okay and then same here we're going to fold these two and we are going to glue this one right here in the center and you already have the score line so you can easily glue this one in the center and that will be our hinges for the pages okay and for the first page i'm going to use this one that is this side and this one in the back okay so now what you need to do is to score in half in both sides okay right here and right here so right now this one is 11 we are going to score at five and a half okay then we're going to turn the paper and this one is eight and a half so it's going to be a four and one quarter okay after you uh, have those two lines okay this one and this one then you have to score at one and a half starting up right here on this corner one and a half all the way to the center okay so i'm going to do that one and a half all the way to the center see right here now when it's done you are going to cut right here in this line until you reach the center okay and i'm going to use my um cutter because we're going to make two cuts okay you are going to put this one in the cutter and here is the center and i'm going all the way down and that will be the half right but then on the right side you are going to cut one eighth of an inch more okay so you are going to move a little bit like one eighth of an inch and cut that part i'm going to start in the center Okay, and you will have like this piece see off okay the one eighth of an inch that you're going to cut is going to be from the bottom okay so now i'm going to cut this one and you will have a paper like this and now let's make the folding okay you are going to fold this one up okay this one up and you have to put the corners together and then you're going to crease right here the paper then you're going to um, open again okay 
then you are going to fold this side to the right okay and you have to match the corners okay and fold it then you're going to fold this one to the bottom the folding is already done so you just fold to the bottom okay then you're going to fold this one to the right okay so we are going to fold this one to the right and then you're going to fold this little part that is one inch and a half to the left okay and we are going to attach this one now to the hinge to the first one okay and we are going to attach the back right here to the first hinge right here and when we attach this one we leave one eighth of an inch right here now i'm going to cut a piece for the pocket right here this one is going to be two and a half and you're going to score at half of an inch and it will be like this and right here is five and one quarter okay and you're going to score at half of an inch on each side so you have four and one quarter and right here you will have two okay so it will fit right here so now that i already put the tape i'm going to cut this one right here the corner so it's not too bulky okay and then i'm going to um just glue it up here and this is how it's going to look here i have the pocket okay and it covers the hinge as you can see right here i left one eighth of an inch away of the line okay same as the front now we're going to put hinges right here to make the other pocket okay and i will need two pieces of paper right here is one inch by one and a half and then you fold it and cut up here a little bit okay you need two of these to glue this one okay to the back and make another pocket so we are going to put this and here is your first page okay so we're going to need one eight and a half by eleven and we are going to score again we are going to score in half okay at this is 11 at five and a half and right here we turn the paper this is eight and a half so at four and one quarter okay and after we have um half in each side we are going to cut right here okay only from here from this side from the right side to the center and i'm going to use this one the cutter and i'm going to cut at it's going to be at four and one quarter until the center okay And I have my paper like this. Okay, fold in half and then cut this side. Okay, now we are going to fold this one to the right. Okay, we are going to fold this one to the right. Okay, then we are going to fold this one to the top, the bottom to the top. Okay. And because it's already cut it's going to open at the bottom okay and you have to crease and you have like this this is one page this is going to be um, the pockets right here this is two pages and here is another one okay now we are going to cut this part for this part I need to measure one inch and a half from the center okay so i'm going to start right here in the center i have 
right here and I'm going to just make a mark right here at one inch and a half and I'm going to do the same thing right here from the middle to the top one inch and a half okay so I'm going to put the ruler like this and I'm going to make the mark right here so this is one inch and a half okay now if you want you can trace a line from this dot to this one I'm going to use my cutter and I'm going to put right here I can see the dot from dot to dot and, and you just cut that piece and now you have um, this part right here you are going to turn this way okay and you are going to glue right here but we're going to use hinges for that because we need a lot of space right if we just put tape or glue it's going to be a smaller space so always if you want to get more of your pockets when you have something like a small mini album you have to use the um, papers um, these are the gussets so for the sides okay now I'm going to um, put some um, some up here and on the side okay and one on the side remember that the gussets are one inch wide which just is cut in half okay so I'm going to put it and I'll be right back and here is how it looks okay if you have anything that it's uh, right here sticking out you just cut it straight okay so your paper in the back had to look like this okay and you're going to glue these two right here but you have to leave one eighth of an inch okay don't glue it all the way to the um, line right here the folding line you have to leave like one eighth of an inch okay I don't know if you can see but um, that's for um, having a page that's not bulky in there and it closes very well, okay? So you're going to glue like this. And now it's already glued. And as you can see, you have to fold this one and glue this one all the way to the bottom. And right here, don't forget to leave the eight of an inch, okay? See? now we are going to um this one folds like this okay folds like this to the back and this one to one side and this one to the other and right now we are going to add a hinge so i'm going to glue this gusset on this side okay like this okay we are going to add one gusset right here and we are going to glue the hinge in this side the next hinge okay so we're going to glue this way this one right here behind but when we glue this one remember that you have to leave one eight of an inch again okay so i'm going to glue this one and as you can see now okay we'll um have the one eight of an inch and we glue this one behind the hinge the second one right behind the second hinge now we're going to put glue here on this side okay and we are going to glue on top and this one will create more space right here for the tag okay so we are having all the space okay for for the tag so now i'm going to glue this one and now this is how it's going to look okay you have a page that opens you have the two pockets right here we're going to put another hinge right here okay and this hinge is one inch and a half and you just cut on one side and glue this one right here okay you're going to glue it right there and now it's done and I'm going to show you the tag that you're going to put in there see it's a big tag and you can put it double and you have a lot of room for the tag okay see plenty of room for the tag and also this one is not too small and you can make it double too okay so all the measurements for the tags i'm going to give it to you at the end okay see you can make this one bigger if you want okay 
So I'm going to continue with the next page. And here is the paper that I'm going to use. I made double sided and I chose those two designs and you put this one right here and you're going to score at and a half, okay? Five and a half, okay? Five and a half and this one is going to be at four and one quarter again, okay? So you score those sides. And now we are going to score one more time at two and three quarters, right here, all the way to the center. Okay, so I have right here two and three quarters, and I score all the way to the center. Okay, so those are my score lines, as you can see right here. Okay, and then in half, right? So now we are going to cut this one right here okay this bottom part i'm cutting with scissors because this is more size so you can see right here okay it's only this piece but now we're going to make another cut and it's going to be from the center of this paper to the middle and i'm going to cut all the way to the middle okay which is uh four and one quarter and I'm going to put in the center and cut that part. And you will have this one like this. Cut in the center and cut this little piece. Now we are going to fold this part to the top, okay? So we are going to put right here and match the corners right here. okay then we are going to fold this side to the right side okay in half right here in this line and we are going to match the corners right here okay and we have like this now we already have a, a cut right here on this side and a score line right so we are going to fold this one to the back, okay? Now, right here, there will be this pocket, this one right here. So we need to punch up here a hole so we know that there is a pocket there. So I'm going to use my circle punch and punch right here, okay? And it will look like this okay now we're going to put some gussets to close this pocket okay um so you can have a big tag in there okay and these are the pieces of paper that i'm going to use um i'm going to fold in half this is one inch fold in half and then you're going to glue on this side and one that measures the same um side right here and glue it in this side okay and when you have done you're going to glue it at the back so you have the whole space for a tag and now this is glue and it will look like this see you have the whole space for a tag okay and this one is close to now we are going to attach the hinge right here and we are going to glue this one behind right here okay it's going to be behind the hinge and remember that you have to leave one eighth of an inch now we are going to put two gussets okay and these gussets are going to be right here and this one right here okay and then we are going to glue this one to the top like this and now the page is done. See, you have a pocket here, pocket here, space. Then at the back, you have a flap that goes down. Okay. And now we're going to do the next page and the last one. 
and for the next page I'm going to use this one and this side okay and we're going to do the same thing um fold in half in both sides okay so five and a half and this one is going to be at four and one quarter okay and right here we're going to score at one and a half okay one and a half and then the last part is that we are going to cut okay one inch and a half right here all the way to the center and i'm going to cut with my cutter you already score in the middle in both sides here is the one and a half inches and this is a score line and now we're going to turn the paper and measure one and a half and cut this piece up here until the center okay we're going to cut this one at one and a half and now on this side on this side right here we're going to cut from the top all the way to the center and this is five and a half so we are going to cut all the way to the middle okay and it's going to be all the way to the middle there we are going to cut this piece right here okay we are going to cut right here from the center of this line to um, the one inch and a half okay right here I don't know if you can see better from this side okay and I'm going to cut right here right there okay and now it will look like this see this is one inch and a half and you have this piece and you have this one open okay this is how your paper should look now we are going to fold this one to the top okay we are going to match the corner right here and we are going to crease the paper then we are going to fold this side to the right okay we are going to fold this one to the right and we are going to score very well then we are going to fold this one that one inch and a half to the back okay like this so we have right here one pocket here we have another pocket then we open we have room for two pictures and then in the other side we will have room up here for one pocket and this one can be the next pocket right here but I'm going to use this side okay I'm going to use this side and I have another pocket right here okay so two pockets and now we're going to uh, do the um, this side first and now this pocket is ready I put the gussets in there and you have a lot of space for the tag okay so now you open like this and we are going to attach the hinge right here okay the last hinge and we're going to do the same thing as the other ones we're going to put in the back okay and we are going to leave one eighth of an inch right here okay and it will look like this see i put the hinge on top and right here at the back you can see that i uh, leave one eighth of an inch okay so now that you have this one we are going to put gussets right here and right here okay here and here and we are going to glue this one to the top and right here i have the gussets with glue and we are going to glue this one to the top okay and we will um have more room right here for the tag and this side is done you have a pocket here pocket here okay then you have these two pages and now we're going to finish with this one so we're going to put gussets here okay the gussets we have to measure with this side at the bottom and then we glue them up here and then we are going to put gussets right here 
and glue them right here. Now this one has the gussets on the big sides and right here and these three sides and you have a lot of room for the tags, okay? So you can see right here. And now this is ready to attach to the cover. And for that you need to put in the center and then make marks with pencil, okay? Maybe dots where you are going to put it. And then you can use glue or double-sided tape and attach this one to the cover. And now I'm going to give you the dimensions of the tags, okay? You are going to cut a four by 10. This is 10, okay? Then you score in the half right here at five and then fold it. And if you want, you can round the corners as I did on these ones. So it looks much better, right? And you need five of these, okay? And it goes one right here. Okay, then one right here, then it will go one right here, and this one adds more room for pictures, right? Then um, we will have one more right here. And the last one will go right here. So those are for the big tags, okay? And now we're going to cut three of this size. Four inches, four inches by seven. Okay, this is seven, score at three and a half, fold it and you will have, um, and you can round the corners and you will have like this size okay we are going to put three more okay this these three are going to be one right here okay then um at the beginning right here we are going to add one more okay and then there was one more right here and one more in this page, okay, which is a uh, double pocket. See? Now, um, we need to um, do two more, and that will be for this one right here. I just cut um, this paper, which is three and a half by six, six, and then I score a three. And this one is going to be for this pocket right here, but I would like to use my dies, so I'm going to um, maybe um, cut right here a fancy shape and then put it up here. Or you can just round the corners and you have like a tag that is uh, this big, see? Okay, so it's up to you. And one more, which is two and a half by four. And this one will go on the pocket right here, okay? On the top um, side pocket right here. And after you put it in there, you can um, just glue anything that sticks out for um, pulling, okay? This tag. And now I'm gonna show you how to do this part up here which is this, okay? I'll give you the dimension so you can cut the paper. And this one, I cut at half of this size, okay, half. And this one looks like an envelope, okay? You can go all the way down. I cut um, a bigger paper so you will see the difference, okay? For the paper um, that it's going to be the cover, I cut two pieces that are four and a half by five, okay? And you are going to do the same thing with both pieces, okay? You are going to score at three and a half, okay? And then three and three quarters, okay? So you're going to have like this much, one quarter of an inch right here, okay? And you are going to put one at the bottom and one at the top. And for the mats that we're going to uh, have for pictures, we're going to need this piece of paper. 
and this one measures 10 and a half, okay, by five. And you're going to score at three and a half, at seven, and you're going to fold like this, okay, to the bottom and then to the top, okay? And this one to the top had to open to the bottom, okay? And now you're going to glue, okay, this one, the last one, the last one, okay, right here. You're going to glue this one here under the line, okay? And this bottom part right here of the same of the same paper. You're going to glue this one right here, right on top of the folding line. And after you attach these two um, papers to the center, it will look like this, okay? Uh, be careful with the um, uh, paper, that, the pattern paper. Just make sure that it's not upside down, okay? And I think this is better because you can embellish the whole page right here. You will have more room for pictures like these two can be used for pictures. Then you open and you have more room right here, here, open. You have two more spaces for pictures and you open and you have three more. See, I think it's much, much better if you um, cut these pieces of the same size. Now I'm going to attach this one right here in the center and I'm going to use double-sided tape for that one. And as you can see, I just put tape and I'm going to, it. don't put it on this side, okay? Leave these sides, just put it in the back and then you're going to attach this one to the center. And you're going to press very well. And this one is ready. See, this is ready. And you uh, you can put a magnet here before you put a picture or an, any other um, tag or embellishment, okay? And then it will close like this. Now for this side right here, we will put this one on that side, okay? And this is a um, flap that opens with uh, ribbon. I put seam binding and then you open. And I put as a decoration just this lace. Then you just open and you have room right here for pictures and it looks like waterfall mats, okay? That's why I had to put the ribbon to hold all the pictures together, okay? We are going to use this piece of paper and you're going to score two lines okay this one is at three and seven eighths that's one eighth of an inch less than four okay this is going to be at three and seven eighths and then you're going to score at one quarter of an inch more okay after three and seven eighths, then it's going to be a four and one eighth, okay? So it's one quarter of an inch. And then you fold it and that will be for the cover of the flap, okay? Right here. There will be two pieces of paper and this piece is at five by seven and three eighths. And then you're going to score at three and a half. It's the first one is a three and a half, okay? After you score a three and a half, okay, you are going to score one eighth of an inch three times, okay? Three and a half, then one eighth of an inch, one eighth of an inch, and then one eighth of an inch. Okay, so I had to have four score marks. And you have to go all the way to the bottom. And you're going to fold just the first one and the last one, okay? Don't fold the ones in the center. That's your guide. And the other paper is going to measure five by seven and one eight. Okay, seven and one eight. And this paper you're going to score at three and a half. Okay. And then you will do just one more score line at one eight of an inch more. Three and a half and then score one eighth of an inch more okay and then you fold it and you're going to glue this one 
this part up here use tacky glue for that one you are going to glue right here in the center okay you have the guide right here so you have to glue this one in the center and you will have the waterfall mats okay see it will look like this and here are the waterfall mats um glue as you can see there is only one eight of an inch in between okay and this one right here see this one is glued just in the center and now we are going to put glue on the cover and we are going to glue this one right underneath the folding line okay like this okay and you're going to press and as you can see the first mat it's um all the way okay to the top and then you just fold the mats in cascade okay and then uh, glue it at the back of that cover okay and when they are done you just have to put um tape right here and if you're going to add a seam binding we can um add it up here okay the seam binding and glue it on top so we can tie it okay and this is ready i put the tape at the back and then i put seam binding and then i put more tape on top and this one is the quarter of an inch that it's going to be for the folding so your tape had to be under okay that line and you will just place this one in the center of the cover and this is how it's going to look okay as you can see right here you have the quarter of an inch and you open this flap you can put a picture here and then you have the mats okay and this is your last one and you have the seam binding to tie a bow right here so you can decorate something and one of the ideas is like put some lace or maybe um some um ephemera or something and that would be all for that tutorial of this mini album okay i just need to embellish this one and that's it i'm going to decorate this one and i'm going to put pictures at the end okay and please visit lace boutique one etsy store it's going to be in the description box i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you very much for watching my videos for your likes your comments and for subscribing to my channel